Some time back, OpenAI introduced Operator, which is an agent which can use its own browser to perform tasks for you. So can Chinese companies be far behind? No. ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, has launched something called as UI TARS. So UI TARS has to as a desktop version. So basically it's an agent which can run on your local personal device and it can perform GUI interaction, basically automated GUI interaction. So what can you do with this Byte TARS? So here is an example. So you launch Byte TARS and then you say that get the current weather in San Francisco using the web browser. Okay. So let's see what it does over here. So once you type it basically, it takes control of the system, it launches a browser, it launches Google search, weather in San Francisco now, okay, or today, right? And then it picks up that uh, weather from over here and then gives back the response over here in the uh, agent, right? In the uh, UI Tarts window. So it, it does this in an automated fashion, basically. Right? It understands that it needs to launch a browser, it needs to put this into the query in Google, get the results out and give it back to the user. Okay, Here is another example where what they've done is that, uh, you know, it's about sending uh, X post with the content hello world. So basically once you say that over here, if you would have seen, once you say that over here, send uh, Twitter with uh, this thing, it goes and double clicks, opens up the browser. Uh, logs into x.com over here. It types Twitter and then it gets redirected to x.com. Okay. Here it is shown like already the user has logged in. I'm not sure if the user was not logged in. Will it stop and ask the user to enter the credentials? I'm not sure about that. But then it shows over here that, okay, if the user is logged in, it will go and create a post. Okay. So these are the kind of things you can do with this particular uh, uh, UI TARS desktop agent basically. Right. So another uh, thing they have over here is the web agent. Okay. Which is on your browser. So this is like a browser operator. So midscene.js. So here are some examples of same poster tweet. So basically you have this particular agent on your browser over here. And then you say that, you know, uh, to post a tweet, it performs the actions automatically on your browser. Okay. Uh, so it will uh, log into uh, your uh, X account and it will create a post over here. Okay. Uh, so you can also do something like uh, drive task or orchestration, collect information about some concert and write into Google Docs. Uh, so you can automate your browser uh, actions basically. You can write something uh, in these agents and you can, it will automatically perform the task on the browser. So this is very interesting. Uh, this UI tasks from uh, uh, Alibaba, basically, not from Alibaba, this is from Byte Dance. Uh, okay. And uh, you can also, you know, if you have enough uh, GPU RAM, you can run this locally on your desktop, or you can use some cloud deployment or VLLM, uh, uh, cloud instance basically, and you can connect it to your agent which is running on your desktop. So, the particular uh, operator from uh, operator from OpenAI, this agent, uh, made use of a fine-tuned GPT-40 model, whereas uh, UI TARS is making use of Quen VL model as a VLLM. And uh, how does this whole thing work basically? Right. So what happens is that uh, this agent interacts with the uh, screenshots, okay, of your screen, and it then understands the screenshot, and then uh, it uh, performs the next set of operations based on previous history as well as its interpretation of the screenshot. Okay. So the UI tarts has access to your keyboard, has access to your mouse. Uh, so it can perform operations based on that. That is the whole idea over here. Uh, actually, that's what is being described in the paper as well. Uh, how this model is being uh, created basically. Uh, so what they're saying over here is that, uh, let me go to the model architecture quickly. Over here, uh, how it is done. That's what they explain over here. See, uh, you have an instruction, basically the query, and then you have uh, various thoughts which could be generated and the input is basically a screenshot and uh, the thoughts which is generated by the model and the output is an action in the action space. Now, what is the action in the action space? It could be going and clicking on a particular icon, uh, going into the search bar in the browser and uh, putting a search query, right? Or it could be editing a Word document. It could be sending a mail. Okay, those are your actions. 
so this is how this particular uh, model works basically so you have an instruction you have an observation which is your screenshot and then there is a, at every time step there is an action which is action executed by the agent and so on so looking at previous history it is able to do that okay so this is based on as i said uh, quen uh, vl uh, that is the underlying multi model uh, model behind this particular uh, ui tars agent and they say that this beats the performance of an agent which is using gpt40 or cloud for similar tasks okay so this is a quick uh, introduction to ui tars and the best part is that the models are already released on hugging face you can download on your local instance as well and you can uh, uh, work on the ui tars desktop basically or you have this browser midseen.js browser agent so and this has got apache 2.0 license so that means that you can actually use it for commercial purposes right you can modify the particular model weights you can also distribute it the, um, the model weights basically so this is a very interesting development in the open source not open source open weights world okay it's not purely open source it is open weights over here a good alternative to operator or not i don't know unless we try both operator as well as uh, you know this particular ui tars uh, on various tasks we will not be able to say which is better but it's good that you are getting open weights alternatives which are coming so there would be others also who will be coming up with such alternatives in the future hope this video is useful see you in another video